In this video, I'm going to show you five awesome ways that you can use hyperlink in Excel. Hey guys, welcome to Excel Tutorial channel and I'm here to help you understand how hyperlinks works in Microsoft Excel. Like most people, when I first started using Excel, I was trying to figure out what they were and how to use them. But now I know the ins and outs of the Excel and hyperlinks. My life has been a lot easier because it's so easy for me to get data from different places on the internet without having to copy and paste everything over into one document. So let me show you some of my favorite ways that hyperlinks are really useful for everyday tasks like getting more information about something or making your life easier by linking things together automatically. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do it because in the upcoming days, months, weeks, years, we're gonna cover each and every aspects of Excel and also we will share new tips and tricks of Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the same folder of worksheet we had in the last video which we have talked about how to sum between the workbooks so we have here january february and march and report workbook here so what we're gonna do is let me open the report one here okay so what we're gonna do here is so we have this products and we have also quantity sold which is the addition of you know all those different workbooks if you have something like external file or you can save some web address where you want to point your user or your boss or your employee to you know see the detailed report of something or some document or pdf file then this really comes handy so this is the part one where we will link existing file here so what we're gonna do here is to link existing file we know this particular quantity sold sum is inclusion of january report as you can see here jan report feb report and march report so i just want to link those worksheet or you can say workbook in these columns here so such that they got to know where you know if you want to present your data here so they know where to get the these values or numbers from right so let me just include like this jan here feb and march and to link those particular numbers which we have here what we need to do is is simple one click what we need to do is just click on this cell and go to insert and go to the link option here which is the under the links just click on it and here you go you have this pop-up window open up and you see your annual report and we have, we can see the three other workbooks here which is the Jan here so let's say text to display yes Jan I don't want to display anything and address will be the workbook so that's how you can link it so after selecting this you just can click OK and there you go it has linked like that only and if I just click on it and it will open the Jan workbook here directly from our other workbook so similarly you can do that with the feb and match you can also pause the video and do it for yourself and um, how we can do that insert link here we have the feb already here let's click on the feb here just click ok and same we're gonna do with the march so that's how you can you know link existing file here this is the part one so in the next part we will link existing web page Suppose you have some, you know, this, these are the number of in the workbook and your workbook can be as lengthy as can it be, right? And you want to just, you know, refer your reader of your workbook to a web page, like any web page you want to refer that user to, or you can say reader. You can also do that with the help of this. So how to link existing web page just click here what we have done here if you want to you know let them know if you want to browse the jan report here you can go to this web address so you can also do that with the help of link option so just click on this existing jan here and insert and go to the same link and in the place of and in the place of jan.xlsx we will just put your 
वेब एड्रेस से है लाइक से एक्सेल टूटोरियल डॉट नेट विच इज़ आर वेबसाइट सो इट्स इट विल लिंक दैट पर्टिकुलर एड्रेस है इफ आई माउस ओवर टू इट इट से एनअल रिपोर्ट ऑफ जैन विल बी एक्सेल टूटोरियल डॉट नेट बट इट वॉन्ट वर्क लेट मी क्लिक ऑन इट इट से कैन नॉट ओपन द स्पेसिफाइड फाइल वट वी हैव डन हेयर इज we need to include the whole url here like https and this double slash here like you put it on your web browser and you can click okay and when i click on the jan and it will open our website here so that's how you can link existing web page here now if you want to you know link some suppose you have मल्टीपल वर्कशीट है लेट मी ओपन अ ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज लिंक टू प्लेस एनी वेर इन दिस डॉक्यूमेंट सपोज यू हैव दिस डॉक्यूमेंट हेयर राइट हेयर सो वी हैव यूज इन दिस हम प्रोडक्ट डेमो डाटा हेयर सो हेयर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू जस्ट लिंक दिस चिप्स टू दिस प्रोडक्ट हेयर हाउ यू कैन डू दैट वी कैन ऑल्सो डू दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ लिंक्स ऑप्शन so how you can do that just click on the insert and click on the link and here we have this option available which is the place in this document right now we have this particular you know references here as you can see these are the number of workbooks here right now we can browse anywhere we want and we have already selected excel already selected in this document here and now we can see a2 is our chips one and just click enter a2 which is a cell reference click okay now we got the chips when we click on this and it will go to the this particular cell i know this is very vague demonstration but if you have loads of entries here and it comes very handy when you use this functionality now in the same way in the same way if you want to you know tell your uh, boss or you know your analyst to you know contact on this email likewise you can also link an email in this using this hyperlink option here how can you do that just write contact us here okay if you need any assistance contact us here write that if you want to include it and go to the insert and go to the link here and here we get the email addresses so text to display will be the email, that same so i will say admin at excel tutorial and if you want to include the subject to let you know your pre pre added subject then let your user or your analyst or whatever whoever you going to read your workbook you can also pre add those in this particular option let's say regarding your report okay and click okay so whenever a user click on this or your reader it click on this and it will just go directly to your can directly mail to your email address so hope you get the point how we can also link your email address in your worksheet here now in the fourth part we going to use the hyperlink function which is very easy and i use it a lot because for my students i just work with the lot of uh, workbooks here and and for the workbooks as you can see in my previous video if you are my old subscriber then you must have seen this particular tutorial worksheet we have linked in the description box so here we have done that hyperlink function in detail but it was in hindi so let me go down that road again and let me show you how you can use hyperlink function to interlink your worksheet to interlink it let me use the first tutorial here which is the exact versus partial match which is the first one here so how are we going to do that let's see with the help of a hyperlink function to do that just open the hyperlink and we have a link location here and for the link location what we're going to do is we're going to browse that link uh, worksheet here and just click any cell you want let me just uh, add this order one here which is the a1 okay and put the comma here and in the friendly name what we going to enter here is click here 
for the same and close it down let's see if it does work or not it doesn't because it says they're unable to open this cloud url here which is to my worksheet the internet site reports the item request is not found why because as a default value it says this should be referred to a link location but for the default value to the existing workbook here we have a workbook here right and we have different multiple worksheets here and we want to link that and to link those existing worksheets we need to add hash operator here to let excel know that this particular location is inside this workbook only and how are we going to do that it's very easy open with the course uh, add the hash operator here and after the a1 we need to add the hash operator here again uh, double code operator here again and we will click the okay let's see if it goes yes here we get the first hyperlink to interconnect our first worksheet here and now the real question is can you do that automatically to the entire worksheet let's see let's find out if i click to all here and let's see what ran between land us to and if i click it oh no it land us to the same worksheet here which is the exact versus partial match and how we're going to correct that we need to use the cell references here in the place of the exact and versus partial match okay so to correct that what we need to do is let's first delete this particular values here and now in the first where we have input our hyperlink here we need to delete this particular expression which is the exact what is part of match and denote it with the self reference here which reference c23 and c4 okay and how to do that first delete this and in place of that open the operator with the double quote and then add the add symbol here as you have you are familiar with the workaround with the self cell references and then select this right and again put the double quote here okay and before the double quote we need to add and symbol again okay just be careful while doing it because it's gonna land you in trouble if you you know do it wrong way so that's how you can do it first we need to delete all those expression which we have entered and in the place of that we will open the quotes then and symbol then select the cell reference here which is the c4 and again put the and and which will close it down here and you one thing you should remember this should be the relative x reference you don't if you don't have dollar signs here then it's good because it's a relative ex, ex, uh, references if you have a dollar symbol here it does mean that it's absolute and it won't select any other cells in that particular sense and if we click enter we got this and if we apply to all here let's see if we can browse rand between now and if we click here yes we got the rand between here let's see some product oh yes we got the some product worksheet here and that's how you interlink multiple worksheet in excel using which function hyperlink function hope you get to know the five awesome ways to use the hyperlinks in excel actually it's a six or five or whatever if you learn something from this then please click the like button if you have some questions in mind you should you have all comment box for you and if you want to know more about excel you can also subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video until then Bye-bye.